Hello and welcome to Pursuit a Perfect System. My name is Terry Ellis, I'm an audio reviewer and this is my video coverage for the Munich High End Show 2019. I'd like to thank my show coverage sponsors. Melco, GIK Acoustics, Telerium Q. I have created lots of videos as part of a coverage for the high end show and you'll find other videos like this in my channel. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, hit that like button, make sure you've subscribed to the channel and I'll be seeing you all soon. Daryl, good morning. Good morning. I'm so pleased we're here at this show and I'm, I'm so pleased you're here. Um, I would like to obviously reintroduce you for people who don't know who you are. Well, you are Daryl Wilson, the son of the founder, one of the true founders of high-end audio industry, and obviously the founder of true high-performance loudspeakers, which was, he was the first person to ever design it. So I'm very honored, and uh, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about the company and and the product. Yeah, I'd be happy to, and thank you for the, you had such a long, wonderful re relationship with him and uh, you meant a lot to him. So thank you for everything that you did for him and for Wilson Audio. Uh, Wilson Audio is a small company. We handcraft all of our products in Provo, Utah, United States of America. Uh, we've been in business for about 45 years. Uh, currently, what we're showing here at the show in two rooms is the Sasha DAW. It's one of our latest products and it's the evolution of uh, those who know their Wilson Audio history from the Watt which was originally designed as a studio monitor for my father. He would, he would carry the watts in for his recording sessions, and he would use his master tapes to make sure that the sound was as real as possible. And that's really the goal of our loudspeakers, is does it sound real? It does it sound believable? It's not, we're not searching for a sound effect. We're, we're searching for um, the most real sound. And so that's what you can expect from Wilson Audio products. And all the technology that we use to develop our products and all the elements within the product all serve that end. Is does it sound real, natural, and believable? This is so good, and I think that would have been one of your father's messages as well. Uh, would you, uh, uh, perhaps, you know, I know because I'm inside the industry, but perhaps you could explain how many products you've already been 100% responsible for uh, since your father was actually designing yeah. the ma with you of course yeah. the master chronosonic so i think that we already know it absolute sounds what is the voice of daryl wilson uh, through the wilson speakers yeah. but i think people should identify the products maybe as a kid i would love sitting down with my dad and I would see my dad closing his eyes and just listening to the music. And as a, you know, I, I didn't know what he was doing. So I'd look at him, kind of close my eyes. And for me, it was just dad time, spending time with my dad. So music has always been a part of my life in that way. Um, playing with prototype enclosures after he was done with it, we would make forts and things out of it like kids do, right? And uh, as a kid growing up, my parents never gave me money. They gave me opportunity. They said, if you want something, come and help us build speakers. Come help us pack the records. You know, come help us clean the parking lot at the factory. And so um, I'm so grateful for that opportunity. And, and through my life, I've worked up through just about every single department at Wilson Audio. Um, out of the last 55 products that Wilson Audio has released over its lifetime, I've had my thumbprint or been a part of at least 35 of those. And, oh. and I always told my dad, I, my job is to make you look good. I don't like the spotlight. And it's still it's still a little uncomfortable for me. <laughs> you're here today. We yeah, know. yeah. So so I I always wanted I always wanted him to be the spotlight, and so um, every product now uh, that Wilson Audio sells, um, I've been the lead uh, designer and developer on it, except the Wham and except the XLF, which of course I had a lot to do with, but the Wham was my dad's project. That was his magnum opus. And uh, would you say the Sabrina, for example, is the voice of Daryl Wilson? The Sabrina is a wonderful representation of, of high quality manufacturing in a very small package that, pr that produces a sound that's deceptively larger than what the speaker really looks like. So in my perception, that's the sound of <laughs> Daryl Wilson. And it goes to Yvette, it goes to, and obviously your latest creation, the Sasha Doll, which is as I told you at Utah, should be called 
what puppy 15 if we were to follow the sequence of evolution. Yeah, yeah the, so, the, the um, Sasha DAW is a very special product. That's the first product that that um, I would developed and released after my father's passing. And we all mourn in different ways. And for me, I had to throw myself into this project. If it, if it was gonna have DAW at the last, you know, at my father's name on it, it had to be absolutely the best thing that I could create. And the Watt being such an iconic part of Wilson Audio's history, the Watt Puppy in, in audio history is the highest selling loudspeaker over 10,000. Uh, U.S. dollars, world, yeah. and so I I knew I was I was playing with and developing and trying to improve upon something that had a very great legacy and a foundation that was very solid, and so um, during the process of me dealing with my father's passing, I poured everything I had into it, and and I hope that people feel that they hear it and it's true to the music. We do hear it. We do yeah. hear it, and you probably. Uh, so it through the success of the sell through of the uh, of the product. Now I'm going to complete this because we all in music, and I'm going to ask you if you had the choice to go to a concert hall and listen to a bad performance of one of a bad a not so good conductor conducting one of the great orchestra uh, orchestra uh, from Mozart or whoever your favorite are and listening to a fantastic performance at home through a good system of the same orchestra, mm. what, 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 would you, what would you choose? That's a very interesting question. Um, as I think about it, it, it doesn't sound like a, an and or uh, question. It's, it really sounds like something that I would want to do both of. And, and, and for, for me, what I do with, with when I hear music and in live spaces is I try to get uh, an acoustic profile of that space. So even if it's a bad performance, me hearing the hall helps me when I hear a recording of the hall. And then of course I love sitting down, especially with my wife, and seeing my kids dance as I play music and playing music in my own house. And I have some control over the sound there, right? And so for me, it's kind of both. Fantastic, but that's a, that proves that you love music. Yeah. <laughs> well, Daryl, as you know, we all worship you and uh, we no, wish no, you no. very <laughs> okay, okay, forget the worship. We wish you a very great success Thank and you. many, Thank many you. more years of great sound of Thank music. You. Yeah, Thank really you. appreciate it. Thank you. That's a great interview. Really great. Well done.